Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the Team Trees video yesterday. Um, definitely a really cool map. I made that in about four days. Uh, one of my fastest maps, I'd say, to complete, especially at that size. It's literally the biggest, the biggest <laughs> Rocket League map to date. Um, bigger than that King of the Hill map, which I also really like, and it kind of inspired me to make that one. Um, but I thought it was a good timing to make that kind of map. I had that idea in the back of my mind for quite a while. Um, I think it could, it could have some changes that can make it a little more fun, but uh, overall it was pretty pretty exciting to play with a group of people and see how it performed. It was gigantic. <laughs> Considering that was a gigantic ball and it still felt like so big, um, it also kind of sprung a new idea for me again, which is uh, to make like a, like upscale the original map so big that it's like you're a mini little RC car and, and uh, use a ball mod to like have the ball be gigantic, like the regular size to scale and just have your car really tiny. Um, I don't know how that would actually work, if it would at all, but it's an idea I have and we'll see if it comes to fruition at some point. <laughs> um, but on another note, hope you guys enjoy the new intro. That guy that made it, his name is Raw Juice. He made some stuff for RLCS in the past and uh, he's very, very talented. Definitely underpriced his uh, commission, so I gave him more than he asked for, which I hope he uh, doesn't take to offense. I, I know some people don't like to, uh, I don't know, People are sometimes people are particular with what they price and stuff. But he put a lot of work into it, he spent like about a month and a half, two months thinking about it and, you know, putting time whenever he had uh, to make it what it is, but I really enjoy it. It definitely is long, like there's a lot, a lot of parts to it, so I'm considering like I don't know, chopping it up for outros and stuff. We'll see. We'll see what I do with it. Um, but it's basically free for me to mess around with. There's a lot of parts, a lot of parts to it. He gave me the whole file, and I can change the thumbnails and stuff at the beginning. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I have the same music over top of it right now, but I know you guys really like the intros, so I didn't want to mess with it too much. Um, but let me know if you guys like like the music with the beat of the you know. I think he tried to match it to it a little bit. I'm not sure, um, but it's always uh, open to interpretation. You know, can change it up, whatever we want to do. It's not a bad run so far. We're at a uh, level seven, no deaths. I'm gonna try to not die on this run, but you know, since it's a casual run, just like showing you guys the map, I'm not really caring too much about it. But so far, so good. Slower pace down here. This level can be really annoying. If you die once, it usually ends up causing a few more deaths, just because people get impatient. I get impatient anyway. Um, <laughs> I've been really enjoying seeing people run through this map. It's been been hilarious. Let's just say that. And no, I'm not sadistic. I think some people were uh, frustrated, but a lot of people enjoyed the challenge. Like it's definitely up there on the scale of difficulty for these custom maps. But that's what I wanted. I wanted one that was like a little more difficult. You had to spend more time. You know, invest. And you'd probably come out with a little more skill afterwards as well, because you do have to have a lot of ball control, which I think uh, is rewarding if you get the levels completed. All right, good control there. Uh, this level I had a lot of complaints about. Uh, I think it's just an illusion though. The hitboxes uh, look like they're closer than they are, but your car is touching them. Um, the only thing that UDK has a problem with is updating hitboxes uh oh there like that i hit that um a lot of people would complain on their streams about that touch but i definitely hit that um the only thing i can say is that udk does a really bad job like udk and U unreal engine 3 does a bad job of updating hitboxes in the front like the out oh, the direction whoops um so sometimes it looks like you're hitting it before which is true i can't really do anything about that though i did the best i could with what i was given and uh, there's been some changes with how things work in UDK and Rocket League since Rocket League's updating all the time. Yep, hit that again. See, like people complain about that, but I definitely hit that. I'm just going too fast once again. Once you get a death, you end up like, I end up rushing a little bit. I'm not sure why. But I just need to take my time. There we go. 
Yeah, level 10 was a, a run killer for a lot of people. Like uh, a lot of people would get stuck on the, stuck on this one. This map is definitely for more higher skilled players. There's uh, <laughs> not a lot of room for error. Let's just say that. And uh, that can be frustrating for some people or rewarding for others. So I definitely want to enjoy a challenge. And the fact that I can make like my own stuff and yes, I'm a pro. So like my skill is a little bit better than some people. But I think there's a lot, of, a lot to learn with this. There's not much you can do in a, a, <laughs> a default map. There's just a, a floor and walls and ramps. That's all you get. And I just feel like there's so much more unique content to this game that hasn't been, you know, unlocked yet. People don't really know what's possible with Rocket League yet. This, this barrier is so slow. Oh my goodness. But yeah, my best time so far is 19 minutes, 52 seconds. Um, the world records so far, personal best by Razy and Democat are close to like 16 seconds, I think. I mean, 16 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they cheated. Oh no. Um, 16 minutes, I believe. Which is pretty good. That's, uh, that's crazy to see in two weeks time. This map came out on, uh, November 1st and the $2,000 challenge, $1,000 of that has already been... Uh, claimed by Democat, he did the impossible run. And there's a uh, $750 for first place world record, um, and $250 for second place. I believe the two of them are probably going to be in contention for those two prizes. It seems that way anyway. I know McLando um, or MC Lando. I'm not sure which one he prefers actually. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, he's been grinding it a little bit to try and get better. Um, I don't think he's quite in the realm of getting to their times yet. They've found so many skips already and they're practicing them a lot. Uh, Razy's definitely like innovated a lot of skips. I think he's found like, I don't know, six different skips, maybe even more. I haven't really watched him recently. I haven't seen his streams. I don't know if he's still practicing it or like waiting to sell, till someone gets closer to his times, <laughs> which I don't know. I, I, it depends on how much he wants to invest on making sure his run is good. Whoops. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Once I hit the wall a little bit too hard, too heavy there. But yeah, hopefully I can go for like a personal best time on a video at some point. I'm just kind of showing you guys the levels right now. And uh, I don't have much time. I have to finish this before scrims start, which is soon. Uh, I have to, I usually watch uh, scrims every day with mouse um, midday, which is actually a lot better of a schedule for me because I, I didn't like, the only thing I didn't like about pro was that my whole evenings were taken up with scrims. At like you know six to nine p.m., we're all like every night was a, was scrims, which is hard. Like I have a girlfriend who who I live with and makes it difficult to schedule things. You know I don't want to take nights off like when I'm playing pro, so it's hard to hang out and do stuff. And honestly, I respect her for <laughs> understanding. I guess I don't know. It's it's a weird job to be a pro in in an esport. There's a, a lot of work involved that people don't understand, like always understand. I won't say don't understand, just sometimes people don't understand what goes into uh, working on improving your team and stuff. It's difficult. I'm going to slow myself down here. This level's not too bad as long as you pace yourself. You can basically skip every other barrier here as long as you keep good pace and then just slow yourself down for the next one here. And there you go. This should be the level pretty much done. Only I don't fail on this little dip. Which I didn't, which is perfect. Uh, this level is called a taste of what's to come coming up next. Uh, this one is called this because this level is literally level 28, but one quarter of it. <laughs> so yeah, that's fun. And because, uh, because uh, it's one quarter of it, it's just a, a bit of a practice run. To get used to hitboxes and and the ramps which i failed at of course it's so hard to uh do this map and talk by the way if you if you've got to watch streamers who try to like keep interactive with their streams I, they almost always fail every time on the times they try to talk to their stream i i don't blame them uh the crazy runners like demo cat and Razy, they've been really focused on just uh like playing the map and if uh if I was to do a personal best run on my on my channel, 
it'll probably be just uh no no sound or no uh no voice just uh gameplay those ramps can be tricky uh, the little dips in the ramps right there like that's on purpose there's also a, a like a way of <laughs> how i designed those ramps too so i did all the 3d modeling myself on these pieces which for a lot of maps i didn't i'll rip i hit that way too far uh flicks too powerful here um a lot of the maps i didn't i, I used like models and i bought them and stuff a lot of maps like upwards of two hundred dollars sometimes on uh, map assets and stuff so i do invest a lot of money into my creations but it's for the community so i don't really mind plus it's a lot of fun to play with uh like all the other youtubers and stuff i don't know i just like i just like creating things and it all i don't know if i've told my story before about uh where where those map creation uh oh gosh uh, where the map creation stuff started from, but I think the first thing that really came, comes to mind is uh, my Minecraft maps. I created a survival maps, uh, capture the, they're called complete the monument or capture the monument, whatever you want to call it, uh, CTM maps. And I uh, created a big one called Safe Haven a long time ago. It got about 300,000 downloads, I think. And uh, it was a lot of fun to make. It took a year and a half and I was like, I don't know, 14 or something when I created it maybe even younger so it was a bit cringy at times the storytelling <laughs> but I'm pretty pretty proud of it still today because I I've played it recently and to play through it takes like maybe a month or two it's like a full-on game inside Minecraft I don't know I just like creating things and uh, I, from there I think the next thing I, I tried to be competitive in League of Legends I didn't create anything in that obviously I don't think there's much creativity you can do with modding and stuff they're pretty strict, right? Games on, on their modding and stuff. I'm not really sure what you can do in uh, in, in League of Legends, to be honest with you. Um, but then I tried to play CS:GO competitively. Um, I was challenger in League. Oh no! Ah! Huh. No! Um, I was challenger in League, and then, you know, the game was so saturated that it just didn't work out. I wasn't trying to be competitive really in anything. Uh, Rocket League kind of just came naturally. But then the next thing I did was CSGO. And uh, I got the global in that. And I wanted to create like a tournament map. I was in talks with a tournament organizer at one point with uh, creating creating a map for their tournament. And I created uh, this thing called DE underscore industry. Which is still in the workshop I believe. But it's never been finished. It might be private actually. I'm not sure. It was never finished. Like the map is... The layout's done. But... None of the texturing's really done that well yet. And I showed it on stream a few days ago. Just uh, pretty cool to create something that other people can enjoy and play on. And, you know, with the hopes that it becomes popular enough that it gets spread around. And I don't know. I don't just like the idea of sharing with a community. I guess it's just my idea of how what kind of impact I want to have on a, a gaming community. Because this has been pretty cool so far, this map here, like, just to see people streaming it, and it's been growing a lot of people's streams, like, Democat, you know, that helped him, like, the $1,000 helped him a lot, and also his stream's been popping off since he started running the map, so he, he thanked me for that as well. Just, I don't know, it's cool. It's rewarding, I guess, for me to see, to see the maps, like, actually be a success, and people enjoy them and message me all the time about how they they're thankful that I made them and what I do for the community and stuff but let's yeah let's get back on the map I've barely talked about the map at all this map was this is the level that I, uh on impossible that I couldn't get past a lot the last time I tried it and I haven't really tried the impossible mode since I did this because I got to level 24 I was like screw this man I can't do this anymore watching a uh, demo cat do his impossible mode run was insane it's really nerve-wracking to get to this far. Oh. Oh, that could be salvageable, I think. Nope. Uh, to get this far and not drop the ball at all, it's it's spooky. Like, we're still in pretty good time here. Uh, with 14 minutes, 31 seconds. Uh, and 16 deaths. But you can imagine uh, how much harder it would have been if those 16 deaths <laughs> caused me to restart to level 0. 
So, and your brain can become pretty numbed to the levels if you play long enough. I could probably make this if I go, but I gotta be fast. There we go. Same with this one. Just keep on pace here. I don't want to have too long of a run. But I'm not trying to go for a personal best here. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned it already. I can't remember if I did, but my best time so far is 19 minutes 52 seconds. So in order for me to get a better time, I have to literally <laughs> beat the next uh, five levels in five minutes, which seems possible considering the. <laughs> The scale, you know, 26 levels in 14 minutes, but the last levels are the longest and most difficult, so yeah. Let's just keep it going, see how we do. These tunnels, this one's not too bad. Just gotta avoid these walls in the middle. Um, if you drop the ball, it does fall through. Those walls do affect the ball. Uh, it's the smaller tunnels on the next level that are kind of a pain. And uh, it can be a real time, time sink if you like lose. Or drop the ball. You can even see on this level, I've spent about 30 seconds on it. If I drop the ball on this level now, like I just did, that's a good, you know, 30 seconds I just lost from that, from that fail. So that's why, like, these levels will invest a lot of time, like in world records. Um, and I like having these longer levels at the end because it just adds a little more intensity. Yeah, look, I've already spent 20 seconds since I respawned, so yeah, it's maybe even more than 30 seconds. These levels are really long. So it won't be a personal best time. I think my personal best had 8 deaths, so <laughs> 17 deaths. Not as good, but, you know, considering all things, people have spent thousands of deaths on, <laughs> on this map. <laughs> I think Musty had 3,800 deaths in 9 hours. Which is insane. I don't know how he spent that long on this map. I would have went insane. Clinically insane, I think. There we go. This level's called Mouse Trap. A lot of people wanted me to call it Mouse with a Z because of uh, Mouse Sports. <laughs> but you know, you never know what happens with things. I don't want my... Uh, <laughs> like maybe I'm not in Mouse in a year or whatever and this map's still around. People are like, what, what the heck is uh, Mouse? Mouse? Does he not know how to spell Mouse? Alright, so there's three of these tunnels and two guillotines in the middle. That's the one down. This is what I'm talking about a time sink. These levels are super long, but you have to be really careful and cautious. We're now two minutes away from, well, just under, over two minutes away from my best time. Which, my best time was actually me recording, or not recording, uh, just, uh, just on my own without recording. Oh, rip. Yep, there goes the time sync. Um, without any voice or anything, I was just playing on my own just to play it. And when you focus, it's definitely a lot easier. Uh, you know what I want to do is something similar to what I think it was a Vample did. Where he did like trick shots through the map. Why am I going? Uh, he did trick shots throughout the dribbling challenge too. I want to see if anyone can do crazy, <laughs> crazy trick shot things in this map. It's definitely a lot more difficult than dribbling challenge too. Uh, but anything is possible. All right, I'm not gonna mess this up again. Let's let's focus on here. I gotta go back to scrims in a second. Oh, why'd I do that? Why'd I do the 360? I just said I would focus, and I just do a 360, bruh. Oh, no, that's dead too. You could probably fly across the middles of these things. I can't remember if I put blockers. Um, but let's just do the the map normally. Uh, and focus here. I gotta go to scrims in literally a few minutes, so hopefully I can make this. Can't be late for scrims. Nice. This is gonna be the last time I'm attempting this level. I promise. <laughs> now I'm nervous. I can't say those kind of things. Put me on the spot. Good. Should be able to wait for this this thing to come down. Go across. And this is the last one. And we're coming up to the famous, infamous level 28. The level that everyone dreads playing. Uh, hopefully I can do it in one run though. I did it on stream in one run when I was showing it was possible. When it first came out, it was funny. Um, I'll probably include, like I'll have a video of all the best clips. 
just gonna reset that. I was already losing control. I have a video of all the best clips from streamers and stuff. It's uh, it was a blast to watch them. Linkeru had some funny pinch skips and stuff. There we go. Yeah, this level is long. This one's probably the biggest time sink if you drop it. Either that or like the big tunnel level. I'm not sure which one. But this takes some fine art to get used to the dribbling on this the corner of your car like this. But once you get it, it's not too bad. Should be able to hop over this while the ball while the, while the wall comes. Pretty good timing. Nice. Good control. Going a little bit fast here, so I'm gonna slow it down. Should have lots of time now that that, that thing crossed. That's kind of when you want to pass this wall. Is when that, that one crosses. It seems to be the plan of action. Because every time I do that, it, it works out pretty well. Like right here, I'm going to wait for the next one to come by. There it is. You got to just slow it down a little bit. And then you can control it. I really don't want to fail this level. Because I, I don't think I'd have enough time to finish this recording. <laughs> if, I, if I fail it. There we go. Oh yeah, I didn't put I didn't put a blocker at the top there. I do have to fix my earbuds, so hopefully I can. I'm gonna try and skip this part right here. Oh, I tried to skip it because uh, once I was fixing my earbud, I didn't have enough time to get across. Uh, and since I didn't make it reset, like since I didn't make the blockers reset, um, it causes uh, you know a lot of seconds to lose. Honestly, not even a bad time though, so far. If I can beat this level in one go, which I should be able to, I'm just going to wait on this next one. Should be around uh, 24 minutes, probably. 23 minutes, if I can get the single run level 30. Can I make it across here? I'm going a little bit too slow. No! I really messed that up. So much for 23 minutes, but maybe 24. Whoops. That's okay. It's right here. I don't know if you can see that spasm in the background with that, uh, with the wall, but it's a unique way of me, uh, making the things teleport to the other side. It's hard to explain, but for some reason, when you do an, when you use an instant, uh, you can't teleport the object like that when I'm using interpolation. So what I do is instead. I uh, use the interpolation to like send the <laughs> the object way out into space like that, and then the next thing I do is uh, teleport it back. Like I basically spawn it to the other side. It's kind of weird because basically when I had it go from one end to the other, uh, what would happen was that the trigger would actually activate because it would travel through the player if you just like sent it backwards, which is weird. I didn't expect that to happen since it's instant. You can choose like an instant mode where it's like from point A to point B, you just do instant, but it actually travels like through the player. There we go. So this level, like you have to get on a good pattern. Once I slowed it down like that, I have to wait for the next pattern of this, uh, this windmill here. There we go. And now once you go around this, this angle here, you have to go back up. So this one won't be the one I go on. It'll be the next one. So I'm just gonna wait for the next 90 degree. This one you have to travel up with air dribbles, so you gotta get a good setup with the pop. Like that. And this can be really nerve wracking on impossible mode, I can sh I can assure you that. Because you do that and you're done. That's it. This level can really mess you up. I saw a uh, demo cat get over this hurdle on level 30 on impossible mode and then fail. Uh, that was really, <laughs> really sad to watch. But you know, he finally got the run anyway, so it was all it was all learning experience. He took the level with a little more caution. Speaking of caution, I can't wait for that construction uh, prop hunt map. Definitely, I use the same prop hunt like uh, map I had before, and I, so I could like use all of the uh, the code and stuff, which is actually really helpful. Good pop. Good pop again. It was close though, because that object was almost in the way. There you go. Let's slow it down on this last one. Don't have to mess this up. There we go. 24 minutes 36. Honestly, not bad for a YouTube video. 
Um, if I wasn't doing commentary, probably a lot better of a time, and the deaths definitely wouldn't have been as bad. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that regardless. It was a lot of fun to uh, to make this map, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, don't get too frustrated. <laughs> uh, yeah, love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.